Shalom, welcome back to Supernatural Life. Let us see what our prophet says about this video. Shalom to all. Welcome to the Supernatural Life. I hope everyone has watched the video. And nowadays, uh, this, this kind of fornication is happening among the churches. Some is exposing and some of the videos are not exposing. Those are the things which are happening in secret. So already Jesus was explained about this kind of fornication that, is, that will happen in the churches. Uh, according to the Matthew chapter 24, already Jesus was explained that most of the preachers will come in my name. Those are called the false preachers. And they preach the, they, they preach the fake things. They preach the demonic activities into the church. They, they, they put the different kind of the sexual, uh, sexual kind of the fornications in the church. So now, as, as we see the teachings of the Apostle Paul, so what the Apostle Paul said regarding these kind of activities that was happening in the church. So as you people are seeing now, uh, as, as I come from the Bible, according to the first Corinthian chapter number five and verse number one, this is very dangerous. This is very dangerous word of God because whatever the Paul said is said by the experience is said because of the prophetic grace that is upon him. He watched everything in the ministry, what is happening in secret. Most of the people that doesn't know what the man of God is doing in secret, but the Apostle Paul know because he is greater than the prophet. So he knows everything what was happening in the church. Because of that reason, he is explaining about the sexual things in the, in the first Corinthians chapter number five, verse number one. That says, it is actually reported that there is fornication among you and such fornication as is not even among the Gentiles. That one of you have his father's wife. It's a very dangerous fornication. As we see in the video already, that fornication is very dangerous. That is completely nudity. It is in, it is existed in the church. The church people were enjoying what the man of God is doing. That is most dangerous thing already. Uh, we cannot say that is the body of Christ because body of Christ will not be corrupted. It is so much of the power. So we cannot say that is the church of the Lord. It is a demonic activities. It is a false preaching. According to that video, the man of God is preaching that uh, I am the man of God is preaching that if someone has been uh, if, if someone was washed by the man of God, that means those people are cleansed according to the faith in the man of God. But that is completely that is completely illegal according to the word of the living God. Because of the scriptures, we know already that we are purified, we are sanctified by the blood of Jesus and also by the word of the Lord that, that become the truth. So this is the truth according to the scripture. Truth sets us free. So our soul is being washed by the blood of Jesus. Our flesh shall be washed by the word of the living God. In the scripture, the scripture is saying that the word of the Lord is like a water. So the word of the Lord is like a water. Water freshes us. Water clean our flesh. Nothing but the water is in the form of the word of the living God. So word of God is in the form of water. That much of the water is going to uh, cleanse us. Our, cle our body shall be cleansed because of the word of the Lord. But in the video, those people are washing the, uh, washing the uh, women with the water, of course. But that is very, very, very dangerous fornication. Here in the scripture, the Apostle Paul is saying that even that kind of fornication was not seen in the Gentiles. It means a greater fornication is happening in the church. A greater fornication. Greater than Gentiles. That kind of fornication is happening in the church. This is called the spirit of Jezebel. So the, the, the spirit of Jezebel was not killed. The spirit of Jezebel was not being killed because according to the scripture, the spirit of Jezebel is nothing but making a sexual feeling on a woman who is greater in age. For an example, a, a 15 years man have a, a, a lovely relationship, a sexual relationship with, 
45 years of a woman. These kind of relations were created in the church according to the scripture that, that said by Apostle Paul. This is called the spirit of Zezbel. This is happening most of the churches, but it is happening in secret. So my brother, today, uh, from that video, we have to learn that. It is a sign the Lord is coming soon. The Lord is not going to bear all this kind of funny and crazy things in the church. This is completely deception of a Satan. Even those people who are in that church, they are enjoying whatever the man of God is doing. I'm, I, I'm, not, able to, uh, I'm not able to call his, him as a man of God. He is a man of a devil. He is a man of a Satan. That man of a Satan is doing something and making things. Those girls are enjoying what the man of a Satan is doing. So today, we have to be pure. The Lord will upon us to be a purity. The, the, the will of God upon us has to be very, very, very purity. And that has to be sanctified by the blood of Jesus. So we need to be very pure. Some kind of mistakes we will do, of course. That is called our weakness. But we, have, we need to have a pain in our heart when we do some kind of mistakes. But those guys doesn't have any pain. They enjoy what they are doing. In the name of God, they are doing some kind of mischief things that never a Gentile is doing that. But the Christians who believed Jesus, those are doing those kind of things in secret. If you are doing in secret, I'm commanding that those kind of the plans of darkness be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have a connection with that kind of a man of a devil, today those connections be disconnected in Jesus name. Because you need to be very pure before the Lord. According to the scripture, even the, the Apostle Paul is saying that for that kind of a man, I am submitting that man to the Satan. I'm delivering that man to the Satan for the destruction of the flesh. So as we see in the, uh, in the, in the verse number 5, uh, coming to the verse number, verse number 4, in the name of our Lord Jesus, you being gathered together and my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus to deliver such a one unto Satan, Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. So Paul is not submitting that sinner to the God because that is not a sin. It is iniquity. The sin is different from iniquity. So, so, so Jesus' blood is helpful for our sins. But there are some kind of iniquity. We, are some, we, 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 we intentionally we are doing some kind of things. That is not being made by Satan. But our spirit is corrupted. When our spirit is corrupted. Those are the things we call as iniquity. So here... The apostle Paul submitted that man, not to God, but to Satan for the destruction of the flesh. So that if that flesh is distracted, if that flesh may be damaged, then his spirit will be saved in the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is the revelation of the apostle Paul because he is crying. He is praying to the Lord. He is crying. He is shouting to the Lord in the prayer because he is writing with the tears. Most of the young people, most of the youth, they are being distracted because of their sexual things which is happening in the church. I'm not speaking about only what is happening in the America or else Africa, whatsoever the country is, no matter. But the matter is the presence of the Lord, nothing but the church of the Lord. So don't blame Jesus. He is the most purity one among everyone. This is what the spirit of the Lord is saying. So my brother, whatsoever that you have watched the video, that video is a, I think that video is a bad. But today, let that video be the motivation for us. We have to learn from that video. This is happening in the, in the society. This is happening in the world. So today, you have to check your church. You have to check your man of God. You have to check what, what you are doing with your man of God. You have to check what is happening in your church premises. 
because the spirit of Jezebel was already hovering in the places. The spirit of Jezebel was already gathered different people. There is a group of people, that group called the Jezebel group. It, the group is already divided and that group is released into the different churches to tempt the people, to tempt the man of God and also to tempt the uh, woman and to tempt the man. If that man is going to be uh, obedient to that spirit of Jezebel, he is finished. So brother, today if that, spirit is, if, if that spirit is with you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let all the evil spirits be binded in hell for your soul to be saved in Jesus' name. So today, I hope from that video, we have to learn more things and we have to be pure. Try to be pure. I know you are weak. I know your limitation. I know your temptation. How much you are tempting, tempted in your soul, in your mind, I know the pain. Because I'm a man, I'm go through in the situation. So today, what I'm trying to say that, be a person to try something. Try to be pure. Try to be very pure. Pray that God will help you. Pray in the spirit. Don't try to be guilty when something is happening in your dream. So there are some kind of women coming in your dream and having a sexual things in your dream. Don't be free. Don't be guilty. As you wake up, just pray in tongues. As you wake up in the morning, just pray. Lord, sanctify me with your blood. Lord, sanctify me with your power. As I meditate the word of the Lord, let this truth sanctify me. This is your daily bread. This is your daily bread. You have to pray with the daily bread. You have to eat your bread daily. Nothing but prayer and the word of God gives you sanctification and purification. Don't be guilty that I'm a sinner. Of course, you are making some kind of mistakes unknowingly. Sometimes you are doing mistakes with, with weakness. But no, don't worry about it. By the grace of the Lord, come to the presence of the Lord and pray more, pray more, pray more. One day the Lord will deliver you completely and you can go into the ministry. A part of that, you will do something greater things for the glory of the Lord from your family. This is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. So today, I bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Let you have the wisdom. Let your mind receive the wisdom of the Lord. Let you be filled with the word of the Lord, a purity of Jesus, a holiness of the living God. Let all this come at one point. Make, all, make sure you have to be pray for these things to receive from you. So this is the word, what, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory be to the Lord.